Welcome my friends of the interwebs. Today we are going to kill two birds with one stone, or I should say with one avocado. <laughs> I'll get to the avocado in a minute. Uh, all right, so this is gonna be one of my first real, real world tests of my new Canon EOS 70D. By the way, I think you can tell my voice is barely with me. Um, just real quick, yeah, I, I went to the doctor yesterday and I, and I got a Z-Pack. I did the loading dose yesterday. I got four days left uh, to the treatment. Hopefully that Z-Pack knocks out whatever bug's kicking my butt because a bug is seriously kicking my butt. And so I'm gonna try to get this video done while I still have a voice. Anyway, so listen, let me give you my setup, all right? I got the 18 to 55 lens on. Um, Oh, you know what? I should get a little more specific than that, I guess. It's the EFS 18 to 55 lens. Um, and I have it set up with stabilizer on. It's on a tripod. And I've been told that if you're going to have it on a tripod, you should turn stabilizer off. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on and see how that works out. All this is going to be trial and error. Um, this this setup is running a uh, a Rode mic. Listen to me running. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm, I'm mingling the gun culture with the uh, with the camera culture. But uh, yeah, I'm running a uh, a Rode Video Mic Pro. Um, basic setup, just I just flipped it on. Um, I haven't tweaked any of that, so it's it's. Uh, we'll see how this works out. Um, a lot of you know that I do a lot of, of bench talk stuff, so it's kind of important for me to figure out what, what it is I'm going to need to make this work for me. So, the two birds with one avocado. My, I was having dinner with my cousin Brenda. Uh, she lives in Harlan County, Kentucky. Uh, some people refer to that place as Bloody Harland. Well, a few years back, uh, Hispanics invaded the place, you know, because the border crossed them. They didn't cross the border. <laughs> so I don't know. Apparently at one time, uh, uh, Harley County, Kentucky was part of Mexico. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm just I'm just smoking some fun. Uh, kind of. Anyway, uh, a lot of them are eating Mexican. These hillbillies have taken to the Mexican food now. I'm not kidding you. They really have. They're, you know, they, 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 they adapt, they overcome. That's what hillbillies do. And I'm not being offensive to my cousin because I'm every bit the hillbilly she is. Um, anyway, uh, we were having guacamole, and I was telling her how much I like guacamole, but I didn't used to, blah, blah, blah. And uh, she said, I love it too. She goes, I, I don't know what to do with the avocado. <laughs> and I said, oh, well, they're not easy, or they're not hard to uh, to get the fruit out of them. Um, so I thought I'd make a video to show Brenda, I'm gonna send this to her on Facebook, show Brenda exactly how you open up one of these puppies. Now, like anything in life, I'm sure there's a million ways to do it. This is my way. So if you see it and it's not the way you do it, don't be coming back at me with some bullshit. Um, by the way, it's also raining like hell outside. Hopefully you can't hear that. Uh, or maybe you can, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how well this video turns out. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to make guacamole uh, in this video. There's a million recipes for that. I may show you my favorite recipe down the road, but that's not what this is about. This video is to basically see how well my autofocus works. And right there, it doesn't look all that focused. I don't know. See how well my autofocus works. <laughs> um, and, uh, and by the way, I'm new to DSLR cameras, so maybe the 18 to 55 isn't the right lens for, for doing what I'm doing. I did notice on the screen that it started tracking this avocado, and, and it's got like a face recognition, so maybe they think that's my ugly face. I don't know. But anyway, um, let me just get to this. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and cut this puppy open. Now, <clears throat> the way I do it, I take a knife and the avocado, and you can see the, the top of the avocado there. And then what I do, usually just to the one side of, of, of where that's at, just push down until I feel the pit. Okay, the pit is the seed inside, and it's fairly big. Okay, and then I just cut along that pit, just like that. Easy peasy. Until you meet with where you originally went in. Okay, so now once you've done that, okay, you grab, your, grab it on both sides, and then you just twist. When you twist, then you pull them apart. So now you got one half of the avocado without the pit, and you got the other half with the pit. Now, depending on how um, uh, ripe the avocado is, the pit may be difficult to get out. Um, I don't think this one will be. Well, maybe a little bit. What you can do, uh, lay this in the hand, take the knife that you used, come down on the pit, and then twist. And that will twist that pit. Once you twist it, you break it loose, it comes out pretty easily. Okay. 
Now, once again, forgive my amateurish video. But this literally, literally is me learning how to use a DSLR camera and, and the different lenses and whatnot. Now, once you've got this done, okay, uh, you've got the, uh, the meat inside. That's what you want. You don't want this rind out here. That's not what you're looking for. You just take a big spoon, okay, and there's lots of ways to do this, but um, depending on how you're going to eat it, take this spoon and you'll run it along that rind between the rind and the uh, and the fruit or the meat and it will come out now this one here is coming out in a couple pieces they don't normally do that and then what you're what you're ended up with is basically a hollowed out shell okay it'll be interesting to see how loud that was i'm going to do it again on this side just going to run it along this is a little riper than what I normally would. In fact, I had to make this video. This one came up a little bit better. I had to make this video because it was getting to the point where it was just too ripe. Once they get really ripe, by the way, they'll start turning. You can see it kind of with this one here. They'll, they'll start turning black. Okay, and there, it doesn't really affect the taste too much, but it's not very appealing looking. You don't want the black. Um, now... <coughs> Excuse me. There's a couple things you can do with this. Now, I eat this stuff like this. I like this. Um, it's a good fat. I don't try to eat too many of them because it is pretty high in fat, but it's, a good, it's the good kind. Um, I have acquired a taste just to eat it plain. I used to, when I first started eating, I put a little lime juice on it, uh, but now I don't. You can slice this thing up. Okay, take one of the sides, slice it up, all right, and then put, you know, put that like in a wrap in a salad. There's a million things you can do with avocado, not just guacamole. But uh, anyway, Brenda, go out and get yourself an avocado. Let me know how it works out for you. Give me a call. Hopefully Uncle Bill's not driving too crazy. <laughs> okay. Everybody else, let me know in the comment section what you think of the audio quality of this video. What you think of, what do you think of the quality of the video in general? Now, the lighting is just the overhead light. It's this uh, fluorescent lighting. I, and there's nothing special about the lighting. In fact, a couple of the bulbs need to replace so they kind of flicker now and again, kind of like a horror film type. Um, other than that, it's just, yeah, I mean, the, the, I basically mounted the, uh, the EOS 70D to a tripod. It flipped the, uh, the LCD screen over so I could see it from the front. Uh, turned the mic on, turned the uh, camera on, and I haven't done anything other than that. Um, and, you know, started talking. That's it. So, anyway, that's all I got. Everybody take care. Peace!